بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دے ول سٹارٹ الوحدت الثانیہ الاسرہ الدسوس الدسوس سادس اشارہ الکلام من سپیک و کنورسیشن و تدریب الاول تبادل السؤال والجواب ما زمیلی کا کما فی المثال Exchange the question and answer with your colleague like the one in the example. Al-Misal, the example, At-Talib al-Awwal, first student. Aina Ahmad, where is Ahmad? At-Talib al-Sani, Ahmad fil masjidi yusildi. Ahmad is in the masjid, he is praying. So for male you will use ya with the verb and for female you will use ta. And this is simple present verb. So you just can say fil muzari in Arabic. Present verb. Fil muzari is also used for future, but we'll study it later in detail. So now I need two students. Anyone raise her hand? Miss Kinza, you are first student, and Miss Salva, you are second student. Read the example. السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام اینا احمد احمد فی المسجد یسلی اینا فاطمہ فاطمہ فی المسجد فی البیت تسلی فاطمہ فی المسلح تسلی فی المسلح تسلی اینا بدر بدر في البيت يتوزع يتوضع يعني يتوضع 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 أين زانب زينب في الغرفة تقرأ القرآن أين عادل عادل في المسجد يقرأ القرآن في المسجد تبادل الحوارا ما زمینی کا کما فی المثال المثال الطالب الاول السلام علیکم الطالب الثانی وعلیکم السلام ما حاضی what is this حاضی سورة اخی this is my brother picture so here he is pointing toward the picture and سورة the picture is a feminine word that's why he is using حاضی Hazihi Surat Wakhi. This is my brother picture. Huwa Muhandis, he is an engineer. MashaAllah, what Allah wills. We use MashaAllah to protect someone from evil eye. So again, I need two students. Raise your hand. Ms. Satya, you are first student and Ms. Khatija, you are second student. السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ما حاضی کی حاضی سورت و اخی ہوگا مہین دیس ما شاء اللہ السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام ما حاضری عادی سوادون اختی یا تبیبه ماشاءالله اذرا مالکم السلام علیکم لام سالن دیر جوین علی بیت سین السلام علیکم و علیکم السلام ما حاضر ما حاضی The word surah is a feminine word So we will say ما حاضی Walid 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 is masculine But here we are not talking about Walid We are talking about his picture So his picture The word picture in Arabic is called surah 
and surah you see and tam al buta then so it is a feminine word okay oh, okay ma hajihi hajihi surah to the walidi huwa muallim ma sha allah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam ma hajihi hadihi surah to ammi huwa tabib ma sha allah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam ma hajihi hadihi um ok hadihi to ibni ta hadihi sura to ibni huwa tali ma sha allah Okay, in this last one we can also read it like this. Hazi surat tubni. We can make alif silent also. Okay. Hadi he surat ibn. So okay. How a tali? If anyone has any question regarding this exercise or any previous exercises or lessons, she can ask me. Um, what page are we on in the book, please? In the book, we are on page number. Forty-four. Okay, thank you. Just a couple here. Wa yakum al wada tu sani al usra adar su sadi sa sharat dribu salis hati jumlan kama fi misal. Bring sentences like the one in the example. So we have got three words here: Walid, Ali, Muhandis. Would we'll make a sentence with the help of these words: Haza Walidi Ali, who was Muhandis. This is my father Ali. He is an engineer. So I need a student. Raise your hand, Miss Tassin. You will make sentences here, and it will be better if you change the name to your family names. Okay. Um. Hazihi Walida. Hazihi Walidati Iqbal. He a tabiba. Has a key tariq. Who a tabibun. Okay, just give me a minute. Let me mute everyone here. Okay, now continue. Has he ukti aisha? He a I don't know what housewife is. Rubbatul Manzili. Let me write it for you. Okay. Rubbatul Manzili. Rubbatul Manzili mean uh, housewife, and its literal translation is queen of the house. Okay. Okay. So, has he? I mean, has he? Ukti Aisha. He a Rubbatul Manzil. Um, has a has a has a no has a bni summer who are Mohandisu has a hip nati salwa. She's an accountant. Okay, she you can say Mozifa has a he here Mozifa. Okay. And there's another word for accountant which is called muhasiba. But it's okay. You can use simple okay. vocabulary for the timing. Okay. Um, has a ammi shahbaz who a muhandis. Okay. <clears throat> Next, at the table, Rabbi, the badal is suala wal juaba ma zamili ka kamafil misa of kamafil amsila. Amsila mean examples. Examples. Al misalu lawal, al talibu lawal, man haza, who is this? Al talibu sani, haza Ahmed, this is Ahmed. Al misalu sani, al talibatu al ula, man hazihi, who is this? Al talibatu saniya, hazihi Zainab, this is Zainab. So, 
for human beings, for angels, and for jinn, we use man. In simple word, you can say for human beings, we use man. For animals and for things, we use ma. So in the next picture, we have mahaza. What is this? Haza masjid. This is masjid. Al-Misal Rabbi Mahazihi, what is this? Hazihi Surah, this is a picture. So for human you will use man and for things you will use ma. For animal you will again use ma. So I need two students here. Raise your hand. Miss Kinza, you are second student, and Miss Salva, you are first student. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Man hada? Hada Ahmed. Man hazihi? Hazihi Zainab. Ma hada? Haza Masjid Ma Hazihi Hazihi Sura Next Ma Haza Ma Haza Man Hazihi because she is female Man Hazihi Man Hazihi Hazihi Layla Ma Haza Haza Shajara. Wrong answer because um, wrong question and wrong answer. Shajara is a feminine word, so you will say Mahazihi. Mahazihi. Hazihi Shajara. Man Haza. Haza Umar. Man ha Ulai. But Man. here. But here we have family. We are considering family one word here, okay? We are not discussing the people. We are considering the word Usra. So you say Man Hazihi. Man Hazihi. Hazihi Usra. Ma Haza. Haza Hamam. Man Haza. Haza Ali Mahada Haza Quran Man Hadihi Hazihi Fatima Tadribul Khamis Tabadal in Hivarma Zamili Kakama Fil Misal Al Misal at Talib Lowell Haza Jaddi Amar Wahazihi Jaddati Amina this is my grandfather Ammar and this is my grandmother Amina. Talibatu Saniya, Ahlan wa Sahlan, welcome. So I need one student here, just raise your hand. Okay, Miss Khatija, you will read it. Hadihi Jaddi. Hadihi Hada Jaddi Amma Hadihi Jaddati Amina. Ahlan wa Sahlan, okay? You okay. better replace the name with your real names. Okay. Hadihi um, Waladi. Um, no. no, no. Haza. Sorry. Hada Hada Waladi Ahmed. Where had he and the Zainab? What's and and no, what had had he Walidati Zainab? Walidati Zainab, Ahlan wa Sahlan, okay? Okay. Um, had a Ahi Umar? Where had he Ukti Huda? Ahlan wa Sahlan, next. Hada Jaddi Amma Wahadihi Jaddati Amina. 
اهلا وسهلا هذه هذا ابني علي وهذه ابنتي عبد الله اهلا وسهلا نيكست عبد الله هذه امي موعد وهذه امتي عزيزة If anyone has any questions, she can ask me. Next, at the dream of Sadis, Ajibanil Asilat Til Tali answer about the following questions. So the questions are written here. You will write their answers on the blank. And in the question 7, 8, 9, 10, you will answer according to your daily life. Man Wali Duka, who is your father? So you will write the name of your father here. Man Jadduka. Who is your grandfather? But in case of female, we ask Man Wali Duki, Man Duki. So you will write answer according to that, and you will send the picture to Google Classroom. You will upload it uh, to the Google Classroom. Excuse me. Um, hmm. What if our, um, our family aren't Muslim? Um, how do we write their names? Yes, you can write their name. No problem. Okay. They are your parents. Okay. So you can write them, okay? No problem. Next, Al Wahdat al Saniya, Al Usra, Dasu Sabia Shara, Al Kira, Tadribu Lawal, Unzur Wastami Wakra. Look and listen and read. So we have just vocabulary. I need a student, Miss Tessin. Read this vocabulary and okay, just read it. Miss Tessin. If you are available, you can read it or anyone. Yes, can. I'm sorry. I forgot, I forgot to unmute myself. At-Tadribul Awwal, Unzur Wastame Waqra, Walid, Walida, Ibn, Ibna, Jad, Jad, Jadda, Akh, Ukhti, Ukht, Am, Amma, Shajara, Asra. Usra. Oh, usra, usra. Next, we have a tadribul khamis unzur wastame wakra. So, I need a student. Raise your hand. Okay, Miss Kinza, read first three sentences. And translate okay. them. Okay. Haza Ammuhu Ahmad. This is her and this is his uncle Ahmad. Uwa Muhandis. Usmanu Fil Masjidi. Usman is in the masjid. Yakra ul Quran. He is reading Quran. Haza Azan al Fajr. This is Azan Fajr. Hayja bina il al masjid. Let's go to the masjid. Okay, Miss Satya, continue. Fatima Filgur Fati to Sally. Fatima in the room to Sally. She is praying. Yeah, uh, she is praying. Uh, Muhammad fil baiti yata vadda. Uh, Muhammad in the house. house. Yata vadda. Yata vadda is Islamic act. So he is making wudu. You can just say he is making wudu. Uh, he is performing. Uh, he is making wudu. Haza aki. Amar, uh, Hua Malima. This is my brother Amar. He is a teacher. Next, we have writing chapter. If anyone wants to do it, do it, then she can do it on her book. And if she didn't understand anything, she can ask me, and she can send it to my WhatsApp number so that I can check it. But this is not necessary. It is uh, optional. <clears throat> Next, we have a very important question paper. Iktabir Nafsaka. 
Alu wahdatan unit one and two. So this question paper is made from unit one and unit two. Awalan al mufradat da il kalimat il atiya fil makani hal munasib min al jadwal. Put the following words in their appropriate place in the table or in the chart. So here you see a many words. You need to put put them in their appropriate category. For example, in Balad, Balad means country. So you write the names of countries in this box, like Misr, then Pakistan, then Zamir mean pronoun. Here you write the pronouns like Anta. They have written Anti and things like this. So you. Okay, then we have Rakam. Rakam means number. So here you will write the numbers like Wahid or any other number that you find in these. Then we have Usra. Usra means family. So you write the family members in this box. Makan means place. So here you will put the places like Masjid, then Hammam, things like this will be placed here. Mehna means profession. You will write profession here like there is the biba talib thing like this next we have a tadribusani akmilil jumala bil kalimat the taliya complete the sent complete the following sentences with the words so they have written the words here for you you will use these words to fill these blank for example ahmadu fi ahmad is in now we have many options Azan, not possible here. Yusali, not possible. Usra, not possible. Yakra, Jaddi, al Gurfa. Al Gurfa is appropriate here. So Ahmadu, fil Gurfati, Ahmad is in the room. So in this way, you will fill this one also. Da alamat al khati al kalimat al kariba. Put a cross mark on the different words, strange word. So we have Akh, Sadiq, Ibn Nazara. These first three words are for human beings, but Nazara is a material thing. So Nazara is a Greek word here. So you'll put a cross mark on Nazara. Okay, someone is asking me about the page number. This is page number 53 on the book. Page number 53 on the book. Page number 53. So if any lady has any question regarding this page, or any other questions you can ask me now. This a word is a digit. Sorry, what? This a. This a. This a mean nine. It is a digit number. Okay. 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 This a mean nine. Next, we have Iktabir Nafsaka. Test yourself. Attaraki one structures and grammar. Sahih al Akta'a fil kalimat al lati ta'ata khutub. Correct the mistakes fil kalimat al lati in the words which are underlined or which have a line under them. So each underlined word has a grammatical mistake. You need to correct that mistake. For example, with hazihi we use hiya, not huwa. Because masculine and feminine cannot come together. So we'll say hazi hiya. So you will write hiya here. Then hiya bina fil masjidi is not good here. We use hiya bina ilal masjidi. So you write here ila. Okay, I, Miss Khatija, if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay. Uh, no question. Okay, good. Sil idat al istafami fil kaimati hamza bima yunasibu min al kaimati ba. Adat al istafam mean article of question. Article of question mean those words which are used to ask questions. So he's asking you to join this idat al istafam with what is appropriate in the second column or second list. So man will be joined with. One can be joined with Haza, one can be joined with Anta. So you will join it with the appropriate word. Then, Ikhtaril Kalimata Sayya, choose the correct word. So you have two options, you need to choose the correct one. So Surah is a feminine word, so we will choose Hazihi. 
Hazi Suratu Usrati. This is my family picture. So in this way, you will choose the right word here. So here, this paper has finished. If anyone has what any is the meaning of ikhtari? Ikhtar. The word is ikhtar. It has a spoon at the end. Ikhtar means choose. He is ordering us to choose. Anyone else? Okay, this is page number 54, 54. Here you see 54 is written. Next we have Al Wahdatu Salisa Asakan. Asakan means residence, the place where we live. Al Wahdatu Salisa, third unit. Asakan, residence. Al Adasu Tasi Ashara 19th lesson, a large presentation, Al Hivaru Lawal first dialogue. Unzur was to me wide look and listen and repeat. Ahmad says, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Hassan replies, Wa alaikum, salam, and peace be upon you too. So, first you had studied the word with ya, like Yusalli, he is praying, Yakrau. He is reading. Yaktubu, he is writing. Then you learned that uh, Tusalli means she is praying. Takrao, she is reading. And Taktubu, she is writing. But the Ta has another meaning. And that is you. First, the meaning of Ta was she. Now you will learn another meaning of Ta which is you. So in this question, ta mean you. Aina taskunu, where do you live? But this ta is for masculine words only. Okay, masculine words only. Aina taskunu, where do you live? So whenever you want to ask a male, you can use ta, second person male, you. Aina taskunu, where do you live? Askunu fi hayil matar. I live in airport neighborhood. Wa aina taskunu anta. And where do you live? Ahmad askunu fi hayil jamia. I live in university neighborhood. Hal taskunu fi bait. Do you live in a house? Naam. Askunu fi bait. Yes, I live in a house. Wahal taskunu fi bait. And do you live in a house? La askunu fi shakka. No, I live in an apartment. So, first you also learn that at the end of every noun, every ism, we use tanween to dhamma. But here you will learn that whenever we have a figure preposition before any word, we use kasra at the end of that word. So here we see kasra with bait, shakka. The reason is this, that they are followed by a preposition fi. La askunu fi shakka. No, I live in an apartment. In an apartment. Ma rakamu shakkatika. What is the number of your apartment? Khamsa. Khamsa means five. Ma rakamu baitika. And what is the, your house number? He says, this is nine. Now we'll take a uh, break here and after five minutes, we will continue again. 